Hello YouTube, hope that um, wherever you are, wherever you're doing, this finds you well, and um, very, very best to you. Okay, I'd like to do a little clip on um, how to install a water heater safety tank, and uh, hope you enjoy the video, and without further ado, we'll get started. This is what I'll be installing today. The company that makes this is Waterworker. And I picked mine up at the hardware store for $54, a two gallon tank. Depending on the size of your system, you might need a larger tank. I'm installing this on a 40 gallon water tank. Before you start, you want to make sure your gas and your water, your plumbing, is all ready and set to go. This is um, my cold water line, it comes through the basement and um, up here to the uh, shutoff valve and then it goes up oh, and then it, this is where I'll be installing the um, tank on the cold water inlet it's important to install after the shutoff valve but before you get to the water heater my gas looks good I did the soap and uh, water test and it passed and then the uh, plumbing is good, no leaks or anything. Now, I'm going to test the water pressure. I get this uh, water pressure tester at the hardware store. And I can turn, you can use like a, if you have a laundry hose, you can disconnect that and put it, uh, put it on that. Or you could put it out on a um, garden hose outside your house. But anyway, you turn on. To find the water pressure of the house, my water pressure is 70, so I am okay. Now this safety tank comes pre-pressure pre, pre charged at 40 PSI. And so inside this has a rubber um, material that is uh, inflated, kind of like a balloon. And then um, when your water heater heats up water, that water has to go somewhere. So, without one of these tanks, it uh, puts a lot of stress on your fixtures, your water heater itself, and um, your pipes. So, with this, when when anyway, with when you install one of these, when water gets heated up, it allows that pressure, extra pressure, to go inside inside to here, and kind of uh, it pushes down the water, pushes down the rubber material. I turned off my water and drained it and I removed the stub on the cold water. Now what I'm going to do, take the safety tank and I put Teflon tape and piped up on it. I'm just going to install it on this stub like so. And you want to always make sure that when you install it, you install it on a horizontal run of pipe, not a, not a vertical. The tank's installed and the water's back on, so it looks good, no leaks. One last thing we're going to do, we're going to take this uh, tire pressure gauge and we're going to pop it on this little uh, valve here to make sure that we're um, not too high water pressure. Over a reading over 70, that means you're too high water pressure and you're going to wear out your tank a lot sooner. Um, in that case, if it, if it is higher than that, 70, then we'll have to install a um, water pressure reducing valve. And so we'll uh, check and see what it reads. Mine reads 70. So we're going to need a water pressure reducing valve. We'll take our uh, tire gauge and we'll test the pressure of the uh, safety tank one last time. And then we'll, uh, then you should be good to go. And I'll just show you a few trouble shooting tips in case to tell if your safety tank goes bad or not. But here we go. And look at that, about 50 PSI. So everything checks out pretty good. That's good news. And 
One last thing to check if your uh, safety tank ever goes bad. It should sound hard on the top and hollow on the bottom if you tap on it. Now if your safety tank goes bad ever, then um, it'll sound hard on both the top and the bottom. And um, every year, maybe when you, I, I don't know, drain your water tank, then you can also take off your uh, safety tank and just, uh, you know, it might lose air over the year. So you take your bike pump and uh, inflate it back up to 40 PSI and uh, or whatever, and you should be good to go. Anyway, hopefully this helped. And uh, as always, thanks for watching the video. All the best. God bless. Many, many blessings.